Hello everyone and welcome back guys to more iRacing with Stevie here back in the IMSA Pilot Challenge. This time round, we're at the Nordschleife. Well, we're at the, we're at the Nürburgring combined layout. I think it's the Glemstrecker today we're doing, so you don't have down at the hairpin on the GP layout. But yeah, very, very much looking forward to this back in the BMW M4 GT4 car. Hopefully we can just have a nice, clean, tidy race. Obviously, it's the Nürburgring. People are going to crash by themselves with each other. All that good stuff. So hopefully we can just keep it clean and tidy and see where we end up in this one here today. Obviously we are running, if I'm not mistaken, a proper paint from the VLN series as well. So hopefully that's a good omen. Ready for this race. We've had a couple of good races actually in the BMW so far this season. So hopefully today can be a bit more of the same as we head down into the final couple of corners. Almost getting ready then to go green. Obviously, if you want to enjoy, make sure you get yourself subscribed for more iRacing content coming to the channel. But hopefully, we'll be going in just a moment. Everyone just Constantina and up a little bit as we get ready to start. And I think it is going to be green flag racing. You can see the BMW in front of us. They're four wide instantly. Don't really want that on the rundown towards turn one. But as long as we avoid it, we should be all all right. Porsche a little bit early on the brakes. There's right. someone there, that's a bit of a dive right. in to turn one. Still we'll just try and hook it up around the outside if possible. He's still there. I think we were three wide still there for there. just a moment. We started P13 in this one uh, as the number 13 car, so we need about 12th if we want to gain any eye rating, as we're going to try and look around the outside of that guy there. Hold your line. He's still there. Try and get the run off the exit. And uh, we've made up, I think, a couple of places then off the start. It all gets a little bit mixed up around here. Good start, Just with the nature of the short formation lap, as it were. But yeah, hopefully we just keep it clean. This opening lap will probably just be testing the waters. I haven't done any practice. I sort of just saw this race was going ahead and thought, yeah, we may as well jump into that and see how we get on. So it's probably the first lap's going to very much be a bit of a learning curve. I'll be honest, but as long as we just keep it tidy, keep it under control. Obviously, this thing doesn't break like a GT3 car. We've got to be careful of that. That's probably the biggest difference I always notice with this car. But, yeah, we shall wait and see. That was a bit too much curb through the first part there. We get a 1x for that. Let's see how wide you can make this thing. So we head now on to the Nordschleife for the first time of the day. I think it's going to be a 3 or a 4 lap race. It reckons 3.4 laps we'll be able to get in, so it will be four laps then. So a little bit longer than the half hour mark that it's predicting, but that's all okay. Gotta remember now we don't have the downforce like a GT3 car, so we gotta be careful. You don't understeer. But avoid the curbs as much as possible in quite a few places. You can't attack a few of them through this S section, but we'll wait and see as to how brave we're feeling. Still obviously on cold tyres. Everything like that. This BMW in front just gets a little bit loose and lively there. You can obviously afford to with this thing lean on the traction control a bit, as long as you don't let it get too tail happy. Otherwise, the traction control will cut in, the car will rotate around with no power, and you'll be either in a wall or pointing the wrong way around, or both, which is quite a common occurrence. Try and get a run through there. Could probably leave it in fifth once the tyres are up to temperature. But yeah, we're about a second back for the cars in front, which is all right at the moment. You can just see everyone streaming through. I think there is only one split for this race, based on the fact we've got a guy with 6.6k I rating, as well as people with less than a thousand. That was very, very close. The gap behind is now 0.7. Trying to get the car down into second gear in a few places, when I'd probably like to, but I'm guessing we don't quite have the gear ratios the way I'd like them to be, but probably leaving it in third is the way to go. Down through Foxhole. Just a bit of a blend at the bottom there. Don't know quite what the car's still thinking. Guy in front a little bit loose, as you've just got to be on the anchors all the way through the uphill. The gravity helps you out a bit as well, but doesn't quite do the work you're expecting it to, because again, you just don't have the downforce of a GT3 car. Hang on, the guy in front, the gap is 0.6. We are slowly closing up to this guy though, which is good to see. Obviously, I've done a fair few laps around the Nürburgring. I know my way around here. So, hopefully. Obviously, that should come in handy. We know just how dangerous this space can be, but also where you can afford to push and where you can. Oh, that 
one. Lose it, lose it, lose it. There we go. Yeah, we're definitely applying the pressure to this guy. Hopefully, this is always the problem. You can apply some pressure, but if you can't make a move work... Oh, that just sits in the middle of the road. And there's not a lot we can do. Only thing you can really do is try and force an error. Left side. Still there. And squeezes out over the curbing there. Car left. Just the completely left. slammed the door shut on me there. Try to have a look around the outside. To be honest, I'm not even sure he knew I was still there. Nice paint scheme though. Drop player special, obviously one of Senna's schemes. Back at Lotus in 1986. Just getting a little bit scrappy just in front of us. We'll try and get the run out of there. That's exactly what we've been able to do, so. And once again, he's just going to sit in the way. Have to blend the throttle so we don't get a 4x or anything like that. Obviously, we've just got to be careful through the kink. Because it will be a big braking zone in this. Especially in the dirty air. Come on, we need to be in front of this guy. I'm well aware we need to be in front of this guy, crew chief, but we got to be patient. Come on. Oh, a little bit too much engine brake there. Back end just getting a little bit loose. Into carousel for the first time. Oh, a lot of Constantina and up. I take a bit of evasive action, but the BMW might be able to get the move done on the Porsche. They're gonna go side by side into the next few corners, as we've got to be careful because we are, we are under some pressure from behind. BMW slots just in front of the Cayman. And now we've just got to sit back again. Because there's not really any opportunities through this part. Again, unless you can force an error. So patience game is this track. You've got to be patient with the circuit. You've got to be patient with the people around you. So you try and get up the inside of someone. A bit of a sneak. There's probably going to be a horrible crash. And the arm codes aren't that forgiving. Funnily enough. As that guy almost proves. We've got BMW just right. behind us. Keep your exit speeds up. Stay smooth. <laughs> Hoping with all this Constantina and up that he doesn't accidentally sneak it up the inside. Look at that. Oh, no, that's not gone well. See, that's why you don't put the nose up the inside, and that's why you don't defend like your life depends on it on that one. Up another two spots, then. That was. They both seemed as aggressive as each other, and it was never going to end well for either of them. Now it gives us a bit of clear air, though, so we can try and close up the gap. Oh, over the jump. Way too much into there. Just a bit too hot. Taking a bit too much curving. Just sort of pinging yourself between the curbs through that bit. Oh, that's optimistic. Just about hold on to it though, again. Got to try and get the power out onto the back straightaway. I think this guy's going to fly past us no matter how good a run we get, though. To be honest, the slipstream just a bit too powerful. And we got no tow from guys in front. Well, no, we have got a bit of a run that time round. That's all right. Perhaps they'll be battling with each other a bit more and then both closing in on me. You never know. But we have almost survived the first lap, then. It is definitely going to be a four lap showdown here. Uh, where we're going to be averaging over 10 minute laps. How much fuel have we got in the car? We've got, yeah, four laps worth of fuel still, so we're definitely safe fuel wise. I think we're up inside the top 10 at least, if I'm not mistaken. So hopefully there's a bit of eye rating to be had. We're sat at the right at the bottom of 1.8k at the moment. So we can try and find a little bit more here as the two behind us going side by side. One of them's been pushed into the grass, and I think that's been a massive crash. One of the guys behind us. Oh. 
got pinged off. I'd imagine. That's not a very happy... I, think, I don't know if it was a Porsche or a Beamer. I think it was two Beamers behind us. But anyway, end of lap one. I think, yeah, we're going to be P9. So we are going to hopefully gain a bit of I rating. How much would we gain? 25. I'd take that rather happily. But we've still got to survive another three laps. As that is way too right. hot into one. Clear right. Lucky to hold on to the position. Come on, little beaver. Just by trying to get the tyres working again, this is the problem. I don't think he's quite got a run, but he might transcend it. Right. There we go. Still oh, Still mate. Right. Come on. And we were in this hole. Come on, get in reverse. That was a very nice. Just around me way too deep into the corner. Luckily it was only a 0x, so hopefully we haven't got any damage. I was a bit of a lungy move into there anyway, and then just runs me out wide. So we're going to be back down to my P13 again, right back where we started. Hopefully we can catch back up to it. Once again, I think we're stuck behind Paolo. We're going to get another 1x there, because for some reason that is the one corner around this track I struggle with. I'm sure I've just jinxed myself by saying that. We'll now struggle with every corner. Come on. Get the power down. Maria is now in the lead. Someone at the front might have gone off. It's not like anyone can make mistakes around here. We have got a few TCRs, but I don't think they're really going to be an issue in this race. So just dance through the S's. Definitely a lot quicker than Paolo in front of us. It's just about trying to actually get reined him. Try and get the run down the back straight, or down this flat out bit anyway. It yeah, was so much quicker than him, I reckon he might have some damage. Hopefully he's learned his lesson from earlier on though, not just to defend positions for all he's worth. We take a bit too much grass there. You're gaining on yeah, the pass right there. We go. Now, not Things you love to see. Okay, maybe not. It's just all over the road. Is what he's doing. Well, I say pass right. Then I'm just gonna weave around. Left side. You gonna make me go around the outside there? Okay. Not quite where I would have wanted to go for it, but. It's where we've gone for it. Remember to P12 again, though. Charlie move. Don't know what that's about. See, look, the TCL's already five seconds back. Bigs the cut to the next car at the road. Seven seconds. Oh. See if we can try and close it to Damien a bit. Oh, that's a lot of curb. Don't want to do that again if I can avoid it. It is fun when you get this thing hooked up though around here. Any car around Norge Life is so satisfying when you build up some confidence with it. That certainly hasn't helped us though. Keep it tidy. Can't ever find too much around here, especially not for long distances of time, by being too aggressive. 
So that, yeah, we've already taken a second out of Damien, so we've definitely got a bit of pace over him. We could still recover to maybe a 11th or 12th place finish. As long as we gain some eye rating, I think that's the most important thing, as that's way too hot into there. Should give us a good run aim, though. the section again. We're taking a little bit of time. Still out Damien, so we might have a bit better top end as well. I think, is he in a Cayman? It looked a bit smaller than the BMW up the road, but I'm not too sure. It's only lap two and we're already very, very lonely. The droids of the Nürburgring, eh? Oh! <laughs> Don't want to do that again. We'll be fine on fuel crew chief, what you're worried about. That was good. How sure we got, come to think of it. Three laps, yeah, we'll be fine. Oh, no! That lurk. That wasn't good. Stewards have warned us about track limits. Keep it between How was that only a 1x? How was that not a... 2x for contact. Is the car knackered? Don't say we got away with that. The car somehow feels alright. I'm guessing we got very, very lucky and glanced it. Or we hit it just with the wheels. I don't know. Just with the rubber, which would seem rather unlikely. Just sort of pinged off it. I think we've genuinely somehow survived that. And I've got no idea how. Okay. We've cheated death. But that was a somehow, for I think the first time ever, a friendly reminder from this track that it will hurt you. Try and get it back down an extra gear there. Give us a bit more rotation through. Try and close up. You're pulling away from the guy behind. The gap's now 5.2 seconds. I reckon we could close Damien, but it might be sort of final lap heroics, something. Maybe we just have to wait until the back straight on the final lap. Imagine if that back straight wasn't there. Like it was still just all twisty bits. How impossible this track would be to overtake. The whole point of that is you sit behind someone for a lap, and if they don't crack, then you slip stream past them. Yeah, so we've taken two seconds out of him so far this lap, which is alright. I think he's in a Porsche though. I think he's actually got a little bit more top end, whether that's just because the arm co damage or what. Up to 4x though, which isn't ideal. If we can try and keep it below 6 by the end, I'd probably be okay with that. I love the fact this thing's got seven gears and we're only in fifth. Very few places where you need six around here. So it just doesn't have the power. Come on. How has he pulled away so much? Am I that bad through the final sector? He's pulled out over a second. Are you back into 12th? Oh yeah, back into 12th. So minus one eye rating, we need one more spot. Right, so the gap to Damien was seven seconds at the end of that lap. Let's see now, over the course of a whole lap, without anyone else getting in the way. Let's see if we can close up. Just feels so wallowy through this sector. 
I changed up, come on. Kirby. He's pulling away from us now. Clearly he's finding a bit more confidence. Two. Seager ahead is now 7.3. It's not good. I don't know, yeah, if the damage is what's costing us or what. Because the car still feels fine. That's another instant point through there. We'd be warned about track limits. She thinks we're still in this four, but I admire his optimism. Oh, come on. Paolo's now behind the TCRs. I've no idea what's happened to him. We're not even pulling away from the TCRs, still. line through there though. I think this is why they want to split up TCR and GT4 next season because if you get slower people in with some quick TCR drivers then unfortunately it's just a battle with cars you're not really meant to be racing. A bit like Daytona prototypes with sub 1k eye writers. Name a more iconic duo. The gap to Damien, though, is going up now. See if we can finally get a sub nine minute lap mode this time round. The gap to Seager ahead is increasing. It's now 8.2 seconds. I'm well aware it's going up, Crew Chief. Stop rubbing it in, man. Have some mercy for us. There's not much we can do with a damaged car. Like I said, I'm surprised it's still even running. Or it's running as smoothly as it is. I would have thought it was completely destroyed. Ugh. what the actual pace difference is between a TCR and a GT4 round in. So obviously it can't be that much anyway, I wouldn't have thought. Yeah, I think we're losing all down the straights though now. See that gap's just opening up. Free to know if we're even put away from the TCRs, because I mean we're fairly similar on power. We've just got a little bit more. We're fairly similar on weight. I mean, those two behind are really pushing each other quite clearly. Yeah, look at that, we've lost over a second down this section. Just doesn't quite have the pick up anymore. I wonder if we 
damage the radiator or something. That's all I can think of at the moment. Oh, we've accidentally changed so we're running in like the lowest fuel map or something ridiculous. That'd be quite funny. Oh no, don't say I've done it again. No, 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 no. I probably should have concentrated a bit more through there. Oh god, come on. Hold on to it. Gap to Sega in front is now 8.4 seconds. Oh, what's it doing? Why does it get like this now? Calm it, calm. We can get to the end. minutes to go. I'm actually going to cross the line with about two minutes to spare, I think. Two, three minutes. It's going to be upwards of sort of 36 minute race. That corner never just feels satisfying in a race car. Or any car for that matter, it's just so aggressive. It really is a car breaker, this track, as I'm sure everyone is well aware. We can now take that section completely pinned, which either shows we're a lot more confident, or the car's got nowhere near the same straight line speed as it did at the beginning. The only optimistic thing I'm going to look for now is the fact that the two in front of us are close together, so maybe there's a battle to be had which we can gain some time through. We chuck it far too deep into there. One more lap of fuel, says Crew Chief. Just over a lap to go. In this race, you can see the two in front of us. The gap is 6.8 seconds. We just need a little bit more. Top line of 25. 51, so he's averaged under, what's that, 840 lap times, I think. Yeah, it must be. So we're a long way off him. But we are slowly but surely getting there. That's the most important thing. Will this lap be a sub 9? That's the next question. Oh no, that's not going to help. White flag is now out though, here at the Nordschleifer. What's that lap going to be? I think it's just going to be a sub 9. 8.59.07. That's just how much time we're losing. We're over a minute off the leader. Let's just hope the two in front of us have a bit of a battle. Just not putting away from the TCRs behind. They're not gaining on us, luckily, either, because that might be a bit more of a difficult dispute. Oh, I knows it, knows it, knows it. There we go. Right, will we get through the chicane at the end of the GP layout now without a 1x? That's my big question. The gap behind is now 17 seconds. Someone's gone. Don't know if they were ahead of us or not. Be good if they were, though. Two in front still battling, though, so I can pray that they cost each other enough time. Oh, no 1x, no 1x. There we go. going to be a guide to the Nürburgring this lap. It's going to be how your race is track. 
Not with commentary, of course. Gotta concentrate on not hitting everything. In a wrecked BMW M4. Ugh. No, don't do that. That's gonna be a 1x, damn it! Track limits, watch those lines. 6x over 4 laps of the Norge Life, though, if we manage to not get another one, is okay. As soon as I say that, that's not good. No! We've been warned about track limits. I think that's us wrecked. The stewards have warned us for cutting the track. Keep it between the white lines. That was a 2x for contact, that doesn't bode well. I think we might. Well, we'll see how we go through here. But I think we might be out of it. This thing is an absolute beast. Three glances of the armco this race, and it still soldiers on. Incredible. Shame we're not up to 8x. Get jumped by TCR. We've got to beat all the TCRs. That's our aim. 30 minutes is now up on the clock, though. That was close. It's one of those horrible corners where if you just nick the grass, you're heading straight towards a wall. TCRs. It's annoying me now as we are taking time out of Damien and Dylan. As I say that, we lose a load of time against them, but that's all right. That's fine. TCRs are still closing, though. We got no top end speed. It's trying to even pull up the hill. Towards the engine up below. Ugh. Oh, this is woeful. Car's knackered. Someone else has gone there. Don't know if they were ahead of us. No, what are we doing? Come on. Got out of track limits. Keep Concentrate. Lines. That's such an unnecessary 1x. Right now, through here, actually concentrate. I think it's Damien, may as well just sit behind Dylan at this point. Flip that curve again. But we got away with it. A little bit more controlled that time through. Ugh.
Come on, little boomer. Let's get to the flag. Been through a lot today. It's not quite been the race I would have wanted. But any race to get to the end of the Nürburgring feels always like a win. That's the most important thing. Maybe those two. Oh no, Dylan's lost out a load of time. Have we not made our mistake? We might have been able to apply some pressure to him. Ugh. Just bouncing all over those curbs. You're reeling this guy in. The gap's now 6.9 seconds. Ugh. Unless, yeah, Dylan stacks it. There's not really going to be much we can do. Those TCRs now all over the back of me. I might just be giving the guy behind a slipstream that he needs. Intriguing to see who comes out on top between those two. They're both gaining on me still. So yeah, I think we are giving Christopher a bit of a tow. We've just got no pull up the hill. Struggling to maintain RPM. But we should be good. Now hold on. Thing can be said for Christopher, I think, right behind us. Just make sure we don't get in their way through the final few corners. Up towards the finish line. We are going to survive here in the IMSA Pilot Challenge. We are going to beat all the TCLs as well, but only just four tenths of a second at the end of the day. There, but that was a brilliant battle between Christopher and Andreas behind us. I'm going to get out of the car as quickly as possible, so no more off-tracks or instant points. But thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, do make sure you get yourself subscribed. And yeah, we will hopefully be back soon with the more racing on the channel. That is one beaten-up beamer.